I'm here to tell you the truth about turbos and why it's a complete disaster. Why do manufacturers even use turbos? Of course, they have to keep up with the mission standards, but also, why are they switching over? The core issue is, what's the benefit of a turbo? You can make a cheaper engine with a smaller displacement, so it can be a smaller size engine compared to a naturally aspirated, cheaper cost to build, and it's going to provide more power for that small displacement with possibly better MPG, but we'll get into why most of the time you don't get better MPG. But the big issue is these engines don't last as long. Any mechanic with any sort of mechanical knowledge would agree. It will not last as long. If you don't keep your car that long, who cares? But at the end of the day, turbos cars do not last as long. And then here's the other deal. If something goes wrong, it's increased cost to repair. And a lot of people say, well, what about turbo diesels? And turbo diesels are in a different segment. But even turbo diesels, ever since they introduced a lot of the emission standards with them, it's been a disaster with those as well. And then if something goes wrong with the turbo diesel, have you been on the other side of that repair bill? It's not cheap. So Increased cost to repair is a big issue with these turbos. It's cheaper to begin with, but in the long run, it'll probably cost you more money because you're going to have more repairs at the end of the day because the turbo wears the engine out because let's get into it. You have increased air flowing into the engine, which is going to increase fuel. It's going to increase pressure. It's going to increase thermal load. It's going to increase everything onto a small displacement because manufacturers are in most situations nowadays in modern vehicles, they're using it to decrease the size of the engine. A 1.4 liter, a 1.3 liter in your vehicle with a little bitty turbo. That's what they're trying to do. The new Toyota Tacoma, terrible situation. It went from a naturally aspirated, super, super reliable V6 to a turbocharged four-cylinder. The only people who are on the internet saying that's a good, reliable vehicle, I understand some people bought it, and hey, it will be reliable for some people, but it's either you're getting paid by Toyota or you work for Toyota. Like, there's no one on there. You know, no mechanic, even people I know that are Toyota, I mean, no mechanic can sit there and back turbos at the end of the day for reliability and longevity. And if you're watching my videos, a lot of people are in, they want to keep their car. They want a car that lasts a long time. And if you are that kind of person, you have to stay away from turbos. And then when it comes to fuel economy, they say you get better fuel economy, but I had the Toyota Tacoma on this channel and they switched to a turbo and the fuel economy was trash. And it's because if you have any sort of heavy foot at all, your fuel economy drops dramatically because that turbo starts winding up and it starts really burning fuel because as soon as it winds up a little bit, it's gone. And then in the beginning, you, you do get turbo lag. Having non-turbo engine naturally aspirated, you get that instant torque. Turbo, you got a little bit of a lag, so it's going to take a minute, and that's another non-benefit whenever you're towing and stuff like that. There's a lot of issues with turbos, and I'm not saying every turbo engine will go bad. No, there's certain ones that will last, but it could increase cost to repair. And then here's the deal. In the long run, for most people, turbos will cause issues because of all the things I said. It's thermal load. It's more pressure. It's all this stuff going on into an engine, and now manufacturers are using using more plastic than ever. It's a complete mess going on right now, and turbos are failing left and right. Literally, the turbo itself, and even normally, it wasn't the turbo. Normally, it's the turbo destroying the engine is the issue, but even the turbo, it's just an increased thing to go wrong. It's it's more cost. It's no, no benefit to you at the end of the day as a consumer, and then the fuel economy is not even much better. We hit a really good point where fuel economy is pretty dang good, but they're putting all these turbos, and it's really not getting much better unless you add in a hybrid battery. I mean, that's really the only way to really jump that fuel economy up dramatically. It's quite interesting the way everything's going, but I just want you guys to know if you're watching a review or something online and they're saying it's a wonderful, reliable car, turbo, turbo, I mean, obviously most people are going to keep their car, so who cares? But in most situations, there is no mechanic who can sit there and back turbos for longevity, reliability, or anything like that. And most people that are looking for a vehicle, I think, and they don't want to make a stupid purchase, especially with something that's going to have issues. And a lot of these new cars are just junk. Most of them are built at the lowest quality ever. Most manufacturers rose prices dramatically while cutting costs over the last few years. So why would you buy a vehicle nowadays? It's just, it doesn't make sense. It's almost one of the worst times because you're getting 
getting the most expensive prices for the lowest quality. It's just a complete mess, and now everything's turbos. It's I don't like all these new cars. A lot of it is trash. There's a few good ones out there. Nissan Frontier, still naturally aspirated. You know what I mean? And that shows you that Toyota really messed up because why did Nissan stick with the naturally aspirated longer than Toyota? You know what I mean? It doesn't make sense. But I know I'm going to get a comment. Someone has a 3.5 EcoBoost with 300,000 miles, and I get it. Certain people will make it, and certain engines will. I'm just saying, in the long run, for a majority of people, for long-term reliability, non-turbo is better. Any mechanic would agree. It's plain and simple. Let me know what you think. Have a great day, and stay blessed.